Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a bucket bag using puff stitch and double crochet stitches. The materials record are 4 ply acrylic yarn, 4 mm crochet hook, stitch markers, scissors, blunt needle, a pair of bead. Let's begin our project by making a magic circle or a magic ring. Once you have completed doing magic circle, work chain 1 and into the magic circle we are going to work 8 half double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook into the magic circle, grab the yarn, pull the yarn through the magic circle, 3 loops in the hook, come out of all 3 loops. This will be our first half double crochet, place marker in top of the half double crochet. Like this continue working 7 more half double crochet into the magic circle. Now we have completed working our 8 half double crochet. So count it. Now pull the tail end to close the circle. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the first half double crochet. Now we have completed working our round 1. For the round 2 we are going to work a chain 1 and into the same chain space we are going to work 2 half double crochet. After completing the first half double crochet we are going to place the marker in top of the half double crochet. Again into the same chain space we are going to work the second half double crochet. In this round we are going to increase in each and every stitches. So into the next 7 stitches we are going to work 2 half double crochet. Pause the video continue working 2 half double crochet in each and every stitch. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 2. Now we are in the end of the round 2, there will be 16 half double crochet in the end of the round 2. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet. Now we have completed our round 2. For the round 3 we are going to work chain 1 and 1 half double crochet into the same chain space. And in the top of the half double crochet we are going to place the marker. And in the round 3, we are going to increase in each and every second stitch. So into the next chain, we are going to work 2 half double crochet increase. Into the next chain, we are going to work 1 half double crochet. And into the next chain we are going to work an increase. So in, into the second chain we are going to work 2 half double crochet increase throughout the round. So continue working 1 half double crochet, 2 half double crochet increase throughout the round 3. Pause the video, continue working. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 3. Now we are in the end of the round 3, remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the first half double crochet. There will be 24 half double crochet in the end of the round 3. For the round 4, we are going to work a chain 1 and into the same chain space we are going to work 1 half double crochet and place marker in top of the first half double crochet. And into the next chain also we are going to work 1 half double crochet. In this round, we are going to work an increase in each and every third stitch. So into the third stitch, we are going to work an increase 2 half double crochet. So 
so into the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet and into the next chain also we are going to work one half double crochet and into the third stitch we are going to work an increase so work two half double crochet into the third stitch like this continue the pattern throughout the round four i will be meeting you in the end of the round four Now we are in the end of the round 4, remove the marker and walk a slip stitch in top of the first half double crochet. In the end of the round 4, we will be getting 32 half double crochet. For the next round, walk a chain 1 and into the same chain, we are going to walk 1 half double crochet. In the top of the half double crochet, we are going to place a marker. And into the next 2 stitches, we are going to walk 1 half double crochet. In this round, in 4th chain, we are going to work an increase. So for the first 3 chains, we are going to work 1 half double crochet and into the 4th stitch, we are going to work an increase. After completing the increase, into the next 3 stitches, we are going to work 1 half double crochet and into the 4th stitch, we are going to work 2 half double crochet increase. Continue the same pattern throughout the round 5. Pass the video, continue walking. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we are in the end of the round 5. Remove the marker and walk a slip stitch in top of the first half double crochet. In the end of the round 5, we will be getting 40 half double crochet. Like this, we are going to increase up to round 10. For working the round 6 to round 10, Follow the return pattern. Now we are in the end of the round 10. In the end of the round 10, we will be getting 80 half double crochet. Now remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of first half double crochet. Now we can check our circumference of the circle. The circumference of the circle is 7 inches. And for the next round, we are going to work a chain one and into the back loop. Of the same loop, we are going to work one single crochet and place marker in top of the first single crochet. After placing the marker into the next chain, we are going to work one single crochet in back loop. Like this, continue working one single crochet in back loop all along the stitches. Pass the video, continue walking, I will be meeting you in the end of the round 11. Now we are in the end of the round 11, there will be 80 single crochet, remove the marker and walk a slip stitch. After completing the slip stitch, walk a chain 1, cut the extra yarn. Weave in all the extra yarns. You can weave in all the extra yarn using crochet hook or blunt needle. For the next round, we are going to take a new color yarn and make a slip knot and insert in any one of the chain of the circle. After inserting the slip knot, work a chain 3. By yarn over 2 times, we are going to work a puff stitch. After completing the puff stitch, work chain 2, place marker in top of the puff stitch 
and into the same chain space we are going to arc a puff stitch yarn over three times and arc the puff stitch come out of all loops again arc chain two arc a puff stitch into the same chain space come out of all loops now again arc a chain two after completing the chain two we are going to skip four stitches below so count it one two three four and into the fifth stitch we are going to work one single crochet and again we are going to work a chain two and again we are going to skip four stitches below so count it one two three and four into the fifth stitch we are going to work one puff chain two for three times for the puff stitch we are going to yarn over three times come out of all loops and work a chain two again yarn over three times and work a puff stitch into the same chain space after completing the puff stitch again work a chain two again work a puff stitch again work a chain two now we are going to skip four stitches below and into the fifth stitch we are going to work one single crochet again work a chain two skip four stitches below and into the fifth stitch we are going to work one puff chain two for three times so we are going to work puff stitch yarn over three times come out of all loops and work a chain two again yarn over three times and work a puff stitch work a chain two again yarn over three times and work a puff stitch after completing the puff we are going to work chain two again skip four stitches below and into the fifth stitch work one single crochet after completing the single crochet again work a chain two again skip four stitches below and into the fifth stitch work one puff chain two for three times like this continue working the same pattern throughout the round 12 Pause the video and continue working. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 12. Now we are in the end of the round 12. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the puff stitch. After completing the slip stitch, again we are going to work a slip stitch in next 2 stitches to reach the chain 2 space. Now we have reached the chain 2 space. For the next round, we are going to work a chain 3. And into the same chain space, we are going to work 4 double crochet. So one double crochet, two double crochet, 
three double crochet and the fourth double crochet now place marker in top of the chain three chain three will be considered as our first double crochet and now work a chain one and into the next chain two space we are going to work five double crochet After completing the 5 double crochet, we are going to work a chain 2. And skip chain 2, 1 single crochet chain 2 below and into the chain 2 space, work 5 double crochet. In this round 13, we are going to work in chain 2 space. After completing the double crochet, work a chain 1 and into the next chain 2 space, work 5 double crochet. After completing the 5 double crochet, work a chain 2 and skip chain 2, 1 single crochet chain 2 below and into the chain 2 space, work 5 double crochet. After completing the 5 double crochet, work a chain 1 and into the next chain 2 space, work 5 double crochet. After completing the 5 double crochet, we will be working chain 2 and skip the chain 2, 1 single crochet, chain 2 below and into the puff stitch again we will be working 5 double crochet, chain 1, 5 double crochet. Like this continue working. The same pattern throughout the round 13, I will be meeting you in the end of the round 13. Now we are in the end of the round 13, remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the chain 3. After slip stitching, we are going to slip stitch in next 4 stitches to reach the chain on space. Now we have reached our chain on space. For the next round, we are going to work a puff stitch. So work a chain 3, yarn over 2 times and work a puff stitch. Again work a chain 2 and into the same chain space, we are going to work a puff stitch. chain 2, again a puff stitch and a chain 2. In top of the puff stitch place a marker, again in the chain 2 space we are going to work a single crochet. After completing the single crochet work a chain 2 and into the next chain on space we are going to work a puff stitch chain 2 for 3 times. Yarn over 3 times and work a puff stitch. After completing the puff stitch, work a chain 2. Again, work a puff stitch in chain on space. Yarn over 3 times. After completing the puff stitch, again chain 2. Again, a puff stitch. Again a chain 2 and into the next chain 2 space we are going to work a single crochet. Again chain 2 
and into the next chain on space we are going to work pop stitch chain 2 for 3 times in round 14 we will be working in chain on space like this continue working the same pattern throughout the round 14 i will be meeting you in the end of the round 14 now we are in the end of the round 14 slip stitch in top of the puff stitch Again, we are going to slip stitch in next two stitches to reach the chain 2 space. Now we have reached our chain 2 space. For the round 15, we are going to work chain 3 and into the chain 2 space, we are going to work 4 double crochet. The round 15 is similar to the round 13. Now we have completed our 4 double crochet and chain 3, work a chain 1, into the next chain 2 space again work 5 double crochet. This round will be very easy for you because it is the repetition of the round 13. Place marker in top of the chain 3. Now again work a chain 2 and skip chain 2, 1 single crochet chain 2 below and into the next chain 2 space we will be working 5 double crochet and a chain 1 and into the next chain 2 space we will be working 5 double crochet. So here we are skipping and into the next chain 2 space we are going to work a 5 double crochet. After completing this 5 double crochet, we will be working 1 chain and into the next chain 2 space, we will be working 5 double crochet. Again, work a chain 2 and we will be skipping the chain to one single crochet chain to below. So you can find the similar pattern of the round 13. Continue working the same pattern throughout the round 15. So this pattern is the repetition of two round, round 13 and round 14. So continue working the round 13 and round 14 for your record length of the bag. Now I have reached round 20. The inches of the pattern is 6 inches. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. For the next round, I am going to add a grey color yarn. So by making a slip knot, I am going to insert in top of the puff stitch and I am going to work a chain 1 and 1 single crochet in same chain space. And into the top of the single crochet, I am going to place a marker. Into the next chain 2 space, I am going to work 1 single crochet. And into the top of the puff stitch, I am going to work 1 single crochet. And into the next chain 2 space, I am going to work 1 single crochet. And into the top of the puff stitch, I am going to work 1 single crochet. After completing this, I am going to work chain 5 and into the next puff stitch. I am going to work 1 single crochet, skipping chain 2, 1 single crochet, chain 2 below. And into the chain 2 space, I am going to work a single crochet and into the top of the puff stitch, I am going to work a single crochet. Into the chain 2 space, I am going to work single crochet again in top of the puff stitch. 
now i am going to work chain 5 skipping chain 2 one single crochet chain 2 below like this continue the same pattern throughout the round 21 Now we are in the end of the round 21, remove the marker and work a single crochet. This single crochet will be the first single crochet of next round. So place marker in top of the single crochet. In this round we are going to work single crochet all along the stitches. So continue working one single crochet. In chain 5 we are going to work 5 single crochet. So continue working one single crochet all along the stitches. Now we are in the end of the round 22, remove the marker and work one single crochet. Instead of slip stitching, we are working one single crochet. Place marker in top of the single crochet, continue working one single crochet all along the stitches for two more rounds. Instead of single crochet, you can also use slip stitch and for the next round you work a chain one. Now we are in the end of the round 24. Here we are going to work a slip stitch. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round, we are going to work a chain 4. Place marker in top of the third chain. So 3 chain will be considered as 1 double crochet. And below, we are going to skip a chain and into the next chain, we are going to work 1 double crochet. After completing the double crochet, we are going to work a chain 1. Again, we are going to skip a chain below and into the next chain, we are going to work double crochet. Again, work a chain 1 and skip 1 chain below and work double crochet. Like this, continue working the same pattern throughout the round 25. Now, we are in the end of the round 25. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round, we are going to work a chain 1 and into the same chain space, we are going to work one single crochet and place marker in top of the single crochet. And into the next chain 1 space, we are going to work a single crochet. Again, in top of the double crochet, we are going to work a single crochet and into the chain 1 space, we are going to work single crochet. Like this, continue the same pattern throughout the round 26. Now we are in the end of the round 26, remove the marker and work a single crochet. And place marker in top of the single crochet. For the round 27, 28 and 29, we are going to follow the same pattern. Work one single crochet all along the stitches. Instead of slip stitching, work a single crochet. 
Now we are in the end of the round 29. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After slip stitching, work a chain one, cut the extra yarn and weave in all the extra yarns inside. Now we have completed our bag. See how beautiful it is. Now we are going to make a handle. For making handle, select 4 chains in both corner and place marker. Now make a slip stitch and insert through the first chain. Insert into the first chain and work a chain 1 and 1 single crochet into the same chain space. And into the next 3 stitches we are going to work 1 single crochet. 1, 2 and remove the marker and work 1 single crochet. Now we are going to work a chain 3. After working a chain 3, turn the project. And now we are going to work into the back loop of each and every chain. So skip the first chain and into the second chain, into the back loop, we are going to work one double crochet. And into the next chain, we are going to work one double crochet into the back loop. Again, into the next chain, we are going to work a double crochet into the back loop. So there will be three double crochet and a chain three. Again, work a chain three and turn your work and skip the first chain. Into the next three stitches, we are going to work one double crochet. So skip the first chain, into the next chain we are going to work 1 double crochet in back loop and into the next chain we are going to work 1 double crochet into the back loop and now we will be getting our turning chain. So into the turning chain we are going to work 1 double crochet. So like this continue working the same pattern for your record length of the card. Now we have completed our card. Now we can attach the card on the opposite side. So remove the marker and pull the yarn through the chain. And work a chain one and into the same chain space work one single crochet. Work a chain one. After working a chain 1, into the same chain space, we will be working one single crochet. Into the next chain, in cord and in the bag, Insert the needle and work a single crochet. Like this, continue working for the next two stitches. So insert the hook into the chain in the strap and into the needle and work a single crochet. Now into the back loop, sorry, into the turning chain and into the last chain in the bag. We are going to work a single crochet. 
After completing this, work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. Weave in all extra yarns inside. Now we have completed attaching the handle in our bag. Now we are going to work a card by making a chain. So I have taken double strands of yarn and make a slip knot and work 100 chains. After working a slip knot, work chain 100. After completing the chain 100, pull the yarn out. And now we are going to insert it into the bag. Insert the bead in the end of the card and make knot to secure. This bag can be used as a drawstring or a bucket bag. I hope you really like this bag. If you are new to my channel, subscribe it and click the bell icon for the notification. Thanks for watching and keep supporting. Take care and bye bye.